now on WRDE Coast TV. While in the midst of dealing with this oppressive heat, we now have a first alert day for Sunday because look at the projections we're expecting over the weekend up to possibly six inches of rain in some areas. Delawareans are getting their Powerball tickets as the amount increases, making history the reasons they say they feel lucky in their chance of winning. Smile when slowing down how these new signs might change the way you commute. A new development proposal is making some neighbors upset what nearby neighbors have to say. From the beaches to the bays, coverage you can count on. WRDE Coast TV News at 5 starts right now. Let's take a live look outside into our Gateway Subaru camera at the Commander Hotel there in Ocean City. Not looking like a bad beach day right now. Good evening. I'm Mallory Metzner. Madeline Overturf has the evening off. I think you might have undersold that, Mallory. It looked gorgeous yes, out there. I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Welcome to our News at 5. We begin tonight with our first alert chief meteorologist, Paul Williams. Paul, some spot showers are popping up along the East Coast in that could swing their way our direction. Indeed, they're coming in from the south right now, but those showers are minor compared to what we're really concerned with that's prompted the latest first alert day, which will actually will be on Sunday. And I'm gonna skip over to that immediately because that's what I really need you to concentrate on for right now. So we're at, we're at Friday, we're looking at spot showers here, but on Saturday, we're looking for it to become very steamy. That's not the big story, watch this. We go from 11.30 Saturday now pay attention to how this changes. This is all Sussex County here. We're looking at typical numbers, 10th of an inch rain, maybe an inch and a half or more, but watch how this explodes here. Boom. We're looking at uh, set five and three quarters of an inch of rain in Millsboro, possibly close to six inches in Georgetown. And this is for Sunday. It starts Sunday morning going to Sunday afternoon. So we could see some widespread heavy rain that could cause flooding problems along Highway 13, 16, 54, and even along the coast. Look at these impressive numbers here. We're going to take another look at these projected numbers as well as dealing with that heat and humidity before the rain actually hits. Mallory. Paul, thank you. People across Delmarva are testing their luck in the lottery as Powerball and Mega Millions climb to nearly record-breaking highs. Coast TV News reporter Heidi Kirk shows us why Delawareans may have a reason to feel lucky. Two dollars. A small price to pay for a Powerball ticket if you win the lottery. The jackpot's so high and I have a good feeling. <laughs> Christy Shirey normally doesn't play. But with $875 million for Powerball and $560 million for Mega Millions on the line. Usually I'm like, I can dream without paying the money, but you got to pay, you know, try once in a while. <laughs> Shiree has her heart set on buying a house, but everyone has a different idea of how they spend the money. I would give most of it away, but I keep enough for myself. But most of it, I just give it away. I, I don't want, want all that money. And Delaware is a great state to buy a ticket. Data from the group Journo Research shows statistically Delaware is the luckiest lottery state, with 10.34 people winning a jackpot out of every 1 million. And people are placing bets on that. Well, I just take the chance on this. You gotta play, play to win. I came out to Kemp's Liquors myself and bought a Powerball ticket, and like many Delawareans, I'm feeling pretty lucky. And don't worry, there's still time if you'd like to come out and get one before that drawing on Saturday at 11 p.m. In Milton, I'm Heidi Kirk, Coast TV News. You're going to see some different kinds of speed radars in Sussex County, and this new one might even make you smile. A pilot program is getting off the ground. Coast TV News reporter Charles Reinert is live in our IG Burton Jeep. Charles, Del Dot says this program aims to slow drivers down. Charlie, this pilot program is coming right here to Long Neck Road. And take a look at your screen here. These are the signs that are part of the pilot program. The sign smiles when you're going the speed limit and frowns when you're speeding. The radars will record speeding data, and if they are successful in slowing drivers down, more may pop up around the first state in the future. People are getting hurt and injured, and uh, so we need to do something to, to maybe put a stop. And I think these signs are, are a good start to uh, you know, um, kind of get the public aware that they're going a little bit too fast maybe, and also give them a, a pictorial that will uh, you know, resonate in their mind. The radar is expected to be up and functional by the end of the year. Another one of these is also coming to Frankfurt. 
I'm Charles Reiner, live in the IG Burton, first threat weather Jeep, driving down Long Neck Road, Coast TV News. This brings us to our Coast TV poll. We want to know what will you do when you see these signs? Let's take a look at the results. Looking at the screen here, it looks like the majority, 51% say they're just going to laugh. 45% say it'll make them drive the speed limit and just 2% for speed up and 2% for slow down. I think I'm going to laugh, but I think they actually might slow you down too. If you haven't voted yet, you still can. Go to WRDE.com or use our mobile app. Learning more on the new regulation for the Delaware pot bellied pig owners, the pot bellied pig owners. According to the State Department of Agriculture, owners have 30 days to apply for an invasive animal permit. Since 2016, there's been an increase in pot bellied pigs in residential and rural areas. Many of these animals are eventually abandoned though by their owners. There is a growing fear that the pigs might spread diseases to people and other animals. And once applications are filled out, an in-person inspection would also be scheduled. For additional information on all of this, you can contact the Delaware Department of Agriculture. The Delaware Electric Cooperative says Facebook users are impersonating them on the site. They say the fake co-op account tricked people on the Delaware State Fair giveaway post claiming they had won the tickets, when in reality the winners have not been revealed yet. Officials say the account has been reported to Facebook and they will be delaying their giveaway until they know that the fake account has been taken down. Tennis and basketball courts in Lewis will be closing starting August 1st. The city says that closure will be used to repair and resurface courts. They expect that the courts will reopen on August 14th. The city thanks the public for its patience. A proposed 79 lot development is in the works near White's Pond in Lewis. The development named Henlopen Bluff would back up to White's Pond just off of Gills Neck Road. The over 31 acres is currently farmland and is something neighbors to the property have mixed feelings about. My only concern is I hope the infrastructure catches up with the growth. Everybody likes it here and we can't blame them for wanting to come here. So we welcome them. The Lewis Parks and Recreation Commission will be looking at the 31 acres for a buffer recommendation on Monday's meeting at 6.30 p.m. Republican presidential hopefuls are in Iowa this weekend for the Family Leadership Summit. Candidates in the crowded field are trying to woo voters ahead of the Iowa caucus, which is only six months away now. NBC's Bree Jackson explains how this is a key weekend for Republican candidates looking to differentiate themselves. Y'all have been so kind. 2024 Republican hopefuls campaigning at the Family Leadership Summit, drawing the eyes and ears of a key demographic, evangelical voters in the state where the party will hold its first in the nation caucus. Iowa is basically make or break for a lot of candidates. Some in this crowded field of GOP contenders are striking a positive tone to attract voters. America needs positive, powerful biblically sound leadership to regain the high ground. The tone at the top matters. Each candidate is trying to position themselves as a top alternative to the current GOP frontrunner, former President Trump. He's skipping this year's gathering, citing a scheduling conflict. Donald Trump has had sort of an on-again, off-again relationship with the evangelicals, especially the pro-life uh, community. This event is taking place as Iowa becomes the latest state to ban abortions in most cases at six weeks of pregnancy. The issue continues to divide voters. Well, I will not vote for any candidate that is not pro-life. I'm a pro-life person, but it's not the key issue for me in this election. A strong showing here can provide a big boost ahead of the party's first presidential debate in August. And if everybody in this room uh, gave a dollar and then told 10 people to give a dollar, you'll get me on the debate stage, I'll give Iowa all the credit. Republicans all vying to replace President Biden, who is leading the second quarter charge in fundraising, with former President Trump and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis lagging far behind. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News. You saw it in the graphic there, and a spokesperson for President Biden's re-election campaign says they've raised more than $72 million since he announced he's seeking a second term. That is more than double the Trump campaign, who reported $35 million raised from April to June. 
Two law enforcement sources say a suspect is in custody in the unsolved Gilgo Beach murders case. This is the first arrest in the case in which at least 10 sets of human remains have been found in Long Island, New York since 2010. Suffolk County, New York officials and the FBI are set to announce a significant development in this investigation. The case has baffled authorities since the discovery of the first set of female remains along an isolated strip of waterfront property on the beach. The string of killings sparked conflicting theories about whether a serial killer was responsible. In 2020, authorities found a belt with initials that may have been handled by the suspect and launched a website to collect new tips in this investigation. Still to come, an AutoZone employee heard after getting allegedly assaulted by a Cambridge woman what police say happened in the store. We are expecting a first alert day on Sunday because of the rain, but right now we are concerned about the heat still kicking in and causing problems. Feels like 100 degrees in Selbyville and 99 in Redmond and the upper 90s in other areas. But first, sharks, sing-alongs, and a Summer Olympics. We'll show you all the cool things to do or to compete for this weekend in the middle of July. That's up next. Prepare for a seismic showdown as the East's most formidable travel softball teams storm the Eastern Shore, each battling to seize the esteemed title, the best of the best. Delmarva Sports Network puts you right in the heart of the action, delivering every electrifying swing, slide, and steal. Download the DSN app, stream you Triple SA games live, plus delve into our extensive archive of past and current games. Delmarva Sports Network, local teams, big dreams. Thinking about upgrading your bath or shower? Fast by Spice Brothers is making it easy with a limited time offer. Right now, receive $1,000 off your new shower or bath. Save 50% off installation, plus 0% financing with no payments until 2025. Choose your favorite style and color, and it can be installed in as little as one day. Have peace of mind with our Platinum Plus Lifetime Warranty and factory certified five-star installation guarantee. So before you sign, keep Bath Spice Spice Brothers in mind. Delaware Electric Cooperative employees constantly monitor energy loads and prices. It's time to issue an alert. When the price of electricity is highest, we issue Beat the Peak alerts and ask our members to voluntarily conserve energy. Our Beat the Peak program helps keep rates affordable and has saved members nearly $40 million since 2008. To participate, download our Beat the Peak app. If you have a programmable thermostat, you could also receive $40 in billing credits when you conserve. Learn how you can save at beatthepeak.coop. At Accurate Pest Control, our love for animals drives us to ensure their safety. That's why we only use pet safe chemicals when treating your yard for mosquitoes, fleas, and ticks. Our expertise is backed by almost three decades of service on the shore, so we can treat any pest problem with successful results. Accurate stays up to date on the latest treatment techniques. And remember, prevention is the best form of pest protection. Enjoy the outdoors without the annoyance and dangers of mosquitoes, fleas, and ticks. Accurate Pest Control, on target since 1995. We've reached the middle of July and summer events are in full swing. Mallory Metzner will show you all the cool ways to compete and some fun things to do this weekend. Metalwork, pottery, woodwork, and watercolor artisans will come together at the Lewis Historical Society this weekend for the Summer Craft Fair. It runs Saturday and Sunday from 9 to 4. Organizers say interpretive staff will give you an up-close glimpse of what it was like in Lewis long ago. Plus, enjoy sing-alongs, fiddle tunes, sea shanties, and more. Big Chill Surf Cantina is holding an Olympics-inspired competition. Watch or compete on a team of two in the bar's three-legged race, water balloon toss, and more. There will be a dunk tank, and it all raises money for the Rehoboth Beach Volunteer Fire Company. The Cantina Summer Olympics runs from 12 to 3 Saturday. The Ocean City Tuna Tournament runs all weekend long. Organizers say it's become the world's largest in its 36 years. You can do some shopping at this event from local boat tackle and jewelry vendors. Wear your best shark costume to the Crooked Hammock in Lewis on Saturday. The brewery is celebrating Shark Week with a shark party party from 6 to 9 p.m. That includes a complimentary first toast of a mixed berry sour. 
food trucks, and over 40 crafters and vendors will be at the Ross Station Event Center in Seaford from 9 to 2 Saturday to raise awareness for kidney disease. And it's Christmas in July on Sunday. A small business market with over 20 vendors, a petting zoo, and more will be at Evans Farm in Bridgeville from 10 to 3. And your pets can take summer pictures with Santa at Concord Pet Foods and Supplies in Millsboro from 11 to 2. To sign up for some of these competitions or to buy tickets to the events, we have links on our website under the Cool Things to Do tab. Brought to you by North Bay Marina, where boaters have the most fun. Have a tripperific summer. Tune into 1025 WBOC, the official station of Tripper Rides, the oldest family owned and operated amusement park. Located on the iconic boardwalk in Ocean City, just steps away from the sandy shores in the heart of all the excitement. Trimper Rides is proud to announce the launch of the Trimper app, designed to reward guests with exclusive perks and surprises. Download the Trimper app today and unlock a world of fun. And keep listening for your chance to win a Family 4 Mega Pass pack all summer long on 1025 WBOC. Sixteen years ago, we founded Community Bank Delaware with the goal of providing high-quality banking services to our local community. Here you meet with decision makers, people just like you who live in and love this community. We provide the newest banking technologies to our customers, supported by our local team of banking professionals. Our bank serves clients throughout Sussex County, and we continue to grow, all thanks to you. Community Bank Delaware, where community matters. Dear Food Lion, thanks for all the food. The food pantry lady says you give them boxes of fresh stuff all the time. My mom and me made the best dinner ever. After I said that to her, she started crying. But my mom said that can happen if you make someone really happy. Thanks for making her really happy. P.S. Please put in less veggies next time. Here to fill tables and hearts with hope. Food Lion Feeds, here for every moment. Jay Leno and Kevin Eubanks. But I'll tell you what, Kevin's gonna give you a hundred bucks, right, Kevin? <laughs> Bring their own twist to a TV classic. Let's play, you bet your life! If I come home broke, my wife gonna kill me. It's all fun and games. Weekdays at 11.30 on WRDE Coast TV. When choosing a granite countertop, choose one for real life and beauty. No matter what life throws at them, they'll look beautiful forever. Ancient Art Stone invites you to discover the affordability of granite and upgrade your home to the beautiful works of art from Ancient Art Stone. Centrally located in Milford, Delaware, serving all of Delmarva to make your dreams a reality. Visit us and allow our devoted professionals to craft, fabricate, and install a superior finished product that will transform your home into a work of art. Sponsored by Ancient Art Stone, where countertops are always a work of art. As we enjoy the Friday afternoon sunshine, we are expecting some really rough weather over the weekend, which is why we have issued a first alert day on Sunday. And I'm going to go over in great detail what I'm tracking and why we are so tuned in to Sunday particularly. Currently, Gateway Subaru camera, we are looking at a beautiful skyline and 78 degrees in Ocean City. Now, we have really gotten warm today. We warmed up to 92 degrees, for example, in Georgetown, 88 in Salisbury, and in Ocean City. And it's felt like near 100 in most areas. We were initially thinking we'd have a whole lot of stormy weather kicking in for us, but right now the spot shower is only flaring up right here in Snow Hill, and it's moving directly more so towards the north. Generally speaking, we see this trough that's kicking off several little isolated cells as well to our west, and we'll worry about those cells when they arrive. Right now, we have the heat and the humidity kicking in. Feels like 100 degrees in Selbyville, feels like 99 in Redden, 98 is what it feels like in Greenwood, Georgetown, and it feels like 93 currently in Milton. If you're going to be taking a brief, brief or brisk run for tomorrow morning, you could run into some early morning scattered showers or thunderstorms because those showers are going to take a little time to get here, but they'll clear out in time for us on 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock. So I'm not looking for a, a washout for Saturday at all. If there's anything I'm concerned with about Saturday, it's really the heat and humidity. So this is a two-parter here. Now notice, Saturday, look at this, 103, 105 Seaford, 104 Delmar, 100 Selbyville, 102 Milton. Saturday is going to be the hot day, and it stays hot until 6 o'clock in the evening. That's my main concern for Saturday, and Sunday's going to be kind of hot, too. Saturday, spot shower is going to pop up at 2.30, and then watch this. It's gone, 
It's Sunday where we have the first alert day. And this is the day I want you to concentrate on because this is why we're calling for that first alert day. You see, Sunday at 4 o'clock in the morning, we start with temperatures in the 70s and showers. Another wave hits at 8 o'clock. Heavy showers once again, and then in the same area by six o'clock in the evening. So we're looking at the same storms hitting the same areas over and over again. So that prompts concern for how much rain are we talking about here? Well, our latest projection, you know, Saturday, it doesn't really jump. But when we get to Sunday, look at some of these numbers near five and a half, almost six inches in Georgetown. That's pretty impressive. And then when you take a look at it from a wider standpoint, as we go into the entire weekend, we're looking at near six inches in Georgetown, over five inches in Millsboro, and nearly five or more along the beach. So we will be tracking this over the weekend. Please keep that in mind. Tonight, 75 waning spot showers, steamy afternoon for tomorrow and 93 with isolated storms. Sunday is a first alert day, drenching showers, possibly over three inches of rain, or more okay so let's keep that in mind here's a look at your paul davis restoration and home remodeling extended forecast lots of rain sunday in the morning afternoon and evening paul thank you a cambridge woman has been arrested after police say she stole items from an auto zone stole a car then hit an auto zone employee while trying to escape cambridge police says the woman was confronted by an employee while she was trying to leave the store with the stolen items. According to police, the employee then tried to stop the woman while she started driving away, which led to the employee being dragged 15 feet before being run over. The House has passed a sweeping defense policy bill largely along party lines. The final tally in Friday's vote was 219 to 210. Four Democrats crossed the aisle to vote with Republicans and four Republicans voted against it. The bill set the policy agenda and authorizes funding for the Department of Defense. It was a fight to the finish only after the contentious debate and the adoption of controversial amendments. One of them was related to abortion policy and transgender health care access. The House passed bill now needs to be reconciled with the Democratic controlled Senate. The Worcester County Health Department is asking for proposals to address tobacco control and enforcement. The county received cigarette restitution funds from the state of Maryland. The department says that organizations can request up to $3,500 for community-based activities and $6,000 for tobacco retailer education with awards granted based on the number of quality of applications received. Some categories of projects eligible include public awareness, community outreach, education, and youth vaping prevention. Coming up next, a road closure is coming Sunday that drivers should look out for. You're going to want to stay tuned on Coast TV News at 5 to find out where that's taking place. At Paul Davis, we get asked, what's the difference between salt-treated wood decking and composite decking? Salt-treated wood decking costs less and comes with lots of maintenance over the years. The composite deck, however, looks like wood, won't fade, insect resistant, and is basically maintenance free. Call now. We can give you an estimate as early as tomorrow. This month, we're offering composite decking for the same price as salt-treated wood through July 31st. Plus, our composite decks come with a lifetime warranty. Paul Davis Restoration and Home Remodeling, we are the difference makers. Weather is brought to you by Paul Davis Restoration and Home Remodeling, the difference makers. Hey! Nice shoes! Birkenstocks, still attracting attention. Find your pair at Just Comfort Shoes, the Birkenstock store in Rehoboth. On the beach and beyond, nothing's more comfortable than a Birkenstock. Are you tired of contractors not showing up on time or not even returning your call? And why are you still waiting for an estimate? Maybe it's because the sales consultant that they sent isn't really qualified to make a proper quote, only to find out the contractor isn't even licensed? That's why thousands of homeowners and businesses trust Del Marva's original crawl space experts. At Dry Tech, we're certified, trained, licensed, and insured. So your crawl space problem gets solved. Guaranteed. Call Dry Tech today for a free assessment. Are you gonna kiss me or not? One zero three nine and one zero six three. We're local. We're coast country, and we're Delmarva proud. Hey, nice shoes. Birkenstocks still attracting attention. Find your pair at Just Comfort Shoes, the Birkenstock store in Rehoboth. On the beach and beyond, nothing's more comfortable than a Birkenstock.
Spring is here, Delmarva, and so is the pollen. <laughs> but you want to be outside enjoying the sunshine. By this time next spring, you could be suffering no more. Transform your pollen-filled outdoor space into a pollen-free indoor retreat, perfect for entertaining friends and family. With an all-season sunroom oasis from Patio Systems in Lewis. For exceptional workmanship at reasonable prices, Patio Systems is your pollen-free backyard living specialist. Locally owned and operated since 2001. Delmarva's hit music station, 1025 WBOC. Part of Glen Avenue in Salisbury will be closed Sunday evening for the WWE Super Show. They say that the closure starts at 5 p.m. and runs from St. Albans Drive to Civic Avenue. The city says that the closure is for safe pedestrian crossing and should be lifted by 10.30 p.m. Snow Hill, Maryland is now officially an enterprise zone after an announcement from Governor Westmore this morning. The town is hoping the new designation will reinvigorate its downtown commercial district, attracting new businesses and encouraging the growth of current businesses. Also announced by Moore is the expansion of Princess Anne's enterprise zone, as well as Cambridge's residential zone as an enterprise zone. Time to take another look at our Coast TV poll. We want to know what you're going to do when you see those new speed signs with the smiley faces or the frowny faces. So far, just laugh. That is the leader at 53%. Drive the speed limit is number two. You can vote at WRDE.com or our mobile app and we'll show you updated results in the newscast at six. We'll be right back. Transform your outdoor space with Backyard Works. We are Sussex County's one call for all your fence, deck, handrail, pergolas, shower, and trash enclosure needs. Locally owned and operated, we make all our vinyl and aluminum fence right here in Harbison, Delaware, from American-made manufacturers. Cut out the middleman and deal direct. As a TimberTech Platinum Deck Dealer, our trained team will professionally install your deck that will last a lifetime. Give us a call and let us make your backyard work. I'm attorney Ben Schwartz. One of the saddest parts of my job is getting calls from people who waited too long to pursue a lawsuit. The law limits the time to file a lawsuit. Sometimes we get phone calls from people who waited years to call an attorney. Don't do that. If you or a family member were injured or killed as a result of someone else's wrongdoing or negligence, please call an attorney as soon as possible. Tip the skills of justice in your favor. Call Schwartz & Schwartz today. Bloom in the spring with East Coast Garden Center, home to the largest selection of plants on Delmarva. Our staff is passionate about finding the best plants for you. Whether it's annuals, perennials, trees, or shrubs, we have something for everyone. With over 70 greenhouses, we grow over a thousand varieties of plant material, providing Delmarva with quality plants for over 30 years. Every Friday, come in for a customer appreciation day and get 10% off plants. East Coast Garden Center, not just a nursery, a destination. You have the power to leave the world a little better than you found it. You have the power to live a more carefree life. You have the power to make your home more energy efficient and less costly to operate. Solar from Clean Energy USA can give you that power. With over 14 years of experience and thousands of systems installed, solar power is more attainable than ever with generous incentives making it less costly than you may think. Contact Clean Energy USA today to get your power. Coming up new on Coast TV News at 6, country star Jimmy Allen countersues the two women who have accused him of sexual assault. The reason from the country music star and Milton native files for legal action. Take a look at our expectation for Saturday. We are looking for triple digit heat indices for Saturday afternoon. And then we're looking for the same situation for Sunday. So we're looking for two sweltering days in a row before the drenching rain hits. And we're talking about a significant amount of rain. Take a look at this for our projections. Over the weekend, we could see over five inches of rain in Millsboro, Georgetown, and even along the coast. Dewey Beach could possibly get clocked here. And it's this line right here that we're looking at possibly the worst or the heaviest amount of rain to hit. Here's a look at your Paul Davis uh, exclusive 10-day forecast. 
We're calling for a first alert day on Sunday. Thanks for joining us here for Coast TV News at 5. For more news, more local weather, download our WRDE News app. Jeopardy is up next. And we're going to see you later tonight for Coast TV News at 6. Have a great evening.